the HC12 is perhaps the easiest way to do wireless communication between two Arduinos. You don't need to install any libraries and you only need a few lines of code. The HC12 chip handles all the transferring of the data for you. Just connect it to RX and TX and the data you send through the serial communication is transferred from one device to the other. So all you have to do is feed the data from the sending Arduino and read it on the receiving Arduino. First, let's have a quick look at the board. This particular board is from Banggood. You can find a link to it in the description. It comes with a spring antenna. This is not going to give you the best range. If you need a greater range, there is an IPEX connector so that you can connect your SMA antenna. There are five pins on the board. VCC, ground, RX, TX and SET. For the first part of this video, we're not going to connect the SET pin. Let's get started with one example. For this, I'm going to use two Arduino compatible Pro Mini boards, some jumper wires, and the two HG12 boards. In this simple example, we're going to have the sender send a message every two seconds. Once the receiver gets this message, it's going to blink its internal LED for half a second. To get started, wire VCC to 5 volts, ground to ground, RX to RX of the Arduino, that's pin 0, and TX to TX of the Arduino, that's pin 1. Do this for both boards. Choose one board to be the sender and the other to be the receiver. The HC12 is a transceiver, so it doesn't matter which board you choose. Open the Arduino IDE and upload the following code to your board. All the script does is to start the serial communication with the HD12 at the default baud rate of 9600. Then it sends the string hello world every two seconds with a delay in between. This is incredible little code for wireless communication. The receiver code is not more complicated. In the setup, we start the serial with the same baud rate. Then, in the loop, we listen to the HC12 to see if it received any data. If it has, we make sure that it actually received the text Hello World. If it's okay, it's gonna turn on the LED for half a second and then turn it off again. There you go. Now you set up wireless communication between your boards. When we start up the boards, the senders start transmitting and receiving data as soon as they boot it up. If we hold down the reset of the sending board, the LED of the receiving board stops. When we let it go, the wireless transmission starts up again as soon as the board has booted up and the LED starts blinking as soon as the sending board has booted up again. If you're interested in how to eliminate the boot time, I'm going to leave a link to a video on how you make your Arduino start instantly. Now, let's talk about the set pin. If you connect the set pin to ground, you're able to change the setup of the HG12. Here you can change the baud rate, communication channel, and transmitting power. Note that if you change the baud rate or communication channel on one of the boards, you have to make the same change on the other. You can use your Arduino IDE serial monitor to send commands to and from your HD12. To do this, we're going to use software serial to connect to the HD12 and the ordinary serial to connect to your computer. Let's connect it to an Arduino Uno compatible board so we can skip the programmer with a Pro Mini. Connect VCC to 5 volts, ground to ground, RX to pin 3. TX to pin 2 and set to ground. There's going to be a link to this sketch in the description. Just copy it or you can just simply write it down. Upload it to the UNO and open up the terminal. 
Start by writing AT and enter, and the board should return it's OK. Then you can try AT plus RX to see the all current settings of the board. If you search for the HE12 datasheet, you can find a complete list of all the commands and settings you can use. Remember to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video.